The FBI and other law enforcement agencies are now investigating a fiery crash outside a New Year's concert in upstate New York. Well, that is believed to be tied to terrorism. Jay O'Brien has more. This morning, a joint terrorism task force, including the FBI, investigating if the driver behind a deadly crash outside a New Year's Day concert in upstate New York was plotting an act of terrorism. Dashcam video capturing the blaze moments after a Ford Expedition plowed into another vehicle outside the Kodak Center in Rochester. At least two people are dead and several injured. The SUV's driver also hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. The fire taking almost an hour to put out. The force of the collision caused the two vehicles to go through a group of pedestrians that were in the crosswalk and then into two other vehicles. Police say at least a dozen gasoline canisters were found in and around the crumpled SUV, prompting terrorism concerns. More than a thousand concert goers ushered out of the packed venue feet away from the wreckage. When we did finally get outside and you saw the carnage of the cars and the one car burnt up, the smell of gasoline was just so intense. I, I couldn't believe how strong it was. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News the driver of the SUV is from Syracuse, New York, roughly an hour and a half away, and drove his own car to the Syracuse airport before renting that extra large SUV tied to the crash. Broadly, all of this comes as for months, law enforcement across the country have been on high alert due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. U.S. officials telling ABC News they are encountering the most challenging threat environment since before 9-11. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.